Okay, so I took your comment into consideration that I wanted to make a video of her healing until we can get together. So, um, first of all, I have her on, sorry, on the prong collar. So that gives her a little bit of extra information. So what I find with dogs is with certain walking devices, um, like the harness or a flat collar or even the slip lead, if the dog is willing to put up, no, good, with the source of pressure, uh, pulling can, nope, good, pulling can be inadvertently reinforced and no, no longer means no, it just means try harder. Um, so I want to give, nope, good, enough of a consequence to pulling forward and dragging into that leash. Let's go. That she is responsive to in the moment. And then as soon as, nope, she just knows I'm not paying attention. As soon as she's doing the thing that I want, the pressure goes away. Um, so I want to give her clear information of what I'm looking for. So she's going like that. Nope. A little bit of pressure and it's not anything super intense. She's just putting pressure on the leash and I'm keeping my hand tight so that she can't or like pulling my hand back to me so that she can't go over there. Um, for dogs that are good, used to stopping and sniffing and doing all of that lolly, lollygagging kind of things. Um, what we're doing inadvertently is rewarding them. Nope. Let's go for blowing us off, checking out, doing their own thing. So it's not that I don't want to let her stop and sniff. I just want to do it at a time where it is constructive. So Bailey, sit. Nope. Good. Good girl. Okay. Like right now, I'll let her go sniff. She can do her thing real quick. Um, I'm going to let her have a moment of freedom and then I'll bring her back into her heel. Quit. So if she, like we just came over to this area and she obviously wants to like romp around and play in the grass and things like that. So what I'm going to do is some direction changes. Let's go. So that I can, go ahead, get her in the mood where she's following me. So like the beginning of this video, she was super excited and wanting to do her own thing. So I'm just going to kind of check back in with her. It's not a correction. I'm just quickly turning and going the other direction. Another thing you can do is turn and walk into her space. Just getting her comfortable with yielding to, to my spatial pressure and moving out of my way. Um, I don't want her up ahead. If she's up there, then she can't see when I'm changing directions. Like right now she's leaving me, I'm turning and she's basically self-correcting. What I'm looking for is when I turn and she turns with me without needing any leash guidance. And I'm gonna give her a chance to be successful with that. So almost there. I don't need her staring at me. I just want her aware of where I am. So she can look around and do her own thing. I don't need her like an attention heel. Let's go. Nope. But when I change directions, I want her to just change the direction with me. Good girl. It's like right here. She started to check out. Good. And I'll pay her for that. Good girl. I want to show her where her advantage is. And that is just by following me. So I'm not going to end on uh, her still needing those little leash taps. I want her to be like, oh, you just want me to turn with you. Let's go. Good. Good girl. And again, like this, like it's, I want to walk into her because I want her being aware of me so that she can move out of my way. Nope. Let's go. It's spring and all of the flowers are blooming. So many smells. Good. And all of that stuff isn't to be like a mean controlling person. Like you have to walk with me. It's just for clarity purposes because she's conflicted right now. Like she wants to go sniff and do all of those things. But if I'm walking her, I don't want her thinking it's okay to just check out and, and move away from me. So if it's different types of context, she's not knowing when she's allowed to leave so like right now she wants to go sniff but that's for us like that's the same picture as pulling so she's going on off doing her own thing like she's pulling away from us and i don't want to reward her for that even if she's just very innocently going and sniffing i want her being more aware of where i am i hope that makes sense
good. So now we have a nice little walk here. Every time she kind of checks out, I'll just give her a little, good, just a little bit of leaf pressure into me. I'm not doing any harsh corrections. Um, she doesn't need that. I'm not like pummeling her. Nope. Let's go. Good. I'm just giving her a little bit of pressure back to where I want her to be. Good girl. And then that pressure goes away. I leave her alone. Good girl. Hey, let's go. Nope. Good. Let's try it again. Nope. Good. I'm just a big silly puppy. Good girl. Yeah, take it. There it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, I hope that makes sense. She's a good girl. I could definitely tell she had some time off and went back to some previous behaviors, which is fine because she's a baby and everything that you're doing with the dog, not you, just you in general, is a learning opportunity. So if they are reinforcing themselves into behaviors that you don't want, those are going to be something that continuously happens because they know that they are allowed to and it's something that they like to do. So no has to mean no. Do it has to mean do it. And anytime there's a possibility, they're going to possibly do it. So if she sometimes, oh, I'm going to go stop and sniff this, then sometimes she's just going to do that even if you don't want her to. So you have to make that not an option. Be strict with it make it to where when you want her to go sniff and do something, it's a reward event that you are giving her. So again, it's a constructive thing, not to be like a mean, mean dog mom. It's just, hey, this is what the picture of walking with me looks like. It's good girl. It's walking nicely with me and not checking out and dragging. And when we find a good sniff spot, you can have that opportunity to do that, but it's not just whenever you feel like doing it. All right, good girl.